cyber warfare, computers used as weapons. It takes specially trained soldiers to fight and defend this digital battlefield. That's why Regent University opened a state-of-the-art cyber range. It will give students the highest level of skills needed for career in cybersecurity. And here about to talk about is Brigadier General Ron Rosen. He heads up the Israeli Defense Forces Cyber Division. And uh, Ron, it's good to have you with us. Thank you. It's great being here, Dr. Robinson. You used to watch the 700 Club. That was a long time ago, 40 years ago. I remember that. It was the only color TV in Israel back then. And that gave us a little edge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to count you among our audience. Hey, listen, what did we buy at, at Regent? Well, what is this uh, thing that is over there now? What will it do? I think it will take care of the operators. You know, it will train operators, better operators. You can't throw you know, trained soldiers and tell them they're trained if they're not, if they don't feel and don't have friction mm -hmm. uh, in the battlefield. It's a battlefield. You know, if you have PowerPoint slides and read a book, it's not good enough. You can't go to war like that. You don't do that with pilots. You don't do that with Marines. You don't do that with ground forces. You okay. train them. You let them fire. So this training, this range, cyber range, is, uh, is going to make the students much more capable. Mm -hmm. So when they meet their enemy, and it's their enemy, face-to-face, uh, -face, so to speak, they're going to be much better in, you know, in how they deal with it and mitigate the risks that come out of this attack. Uh, is Israel able to overcome the enemies around her? Uh, I imagine Israel is, is so much superior in terms of cyber uh, technology. Am I correct in that? We're working very hard to be superior. That's a, it's a hard work because it's, you know, it's like moving on an escalator that's, walk, that's moving down. Uh -huh. You can't be standing. You have to be constantly moving up and not in uh, speed, which is the speed of the stairs moving down. You have to move faster than that. Mm -hmm. So it's a race. It's a constant race. And there's, a, uh, there's actually an a arms race out there. So you have to be very resourceful. And you have to learn very quick. Uh, the learning cycle has to be very quick. Uh, it's not enough to, you know, go out of school and, and you think you know everything. It's not. You have to learn every day and debrief yourself and think of where technology is going because the technology is actually the landscape mm -hmm. of this realm. It's a, it's a man-made realm. So when you have a man-made realm, you have technology and you have the flaws in technology and the bad people use the flaws to get into where they shouldn't be. And so yeah, it's a race. It's a constant race. Well, you know, when I was over there, I, I, uh, I've been there, of course, so many times to Israel, but uh, Benny Gantz was a friend in the, those days. He was up at the Northern Frontier as a commanding officer. Uh, but I remember uh, trying to think, the, the uh, Hezbollah had at that time about 80,000 artillery pieces of rockets aimed at Israel. Uh, are they any better in terms of cyber than Israel at this point in time? I hope they're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure that's what you're supposed to say. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're working hard to make sure they're not. That's our job in the IDF. I just retired, but I think nothing has changed since I retired since it was Sunday. So yeah. I hope nothing changed in the last two days. But we're still working very hard to keep, you know, up to speed with our enemies. Everybody's doing a good job in Israel. I hope better than what they are doing. But they're also working hard as well. So it's, uh, it's not an easy job to do. You know, they were sending all those rockets. I mean, I was there in Kiryat Shmona, and this rocket went zooming overhead, and it was burning on the hillside from where we were. Um, they couldn't target anything. Now, have they improved their, their, their control of where they're going to send those rockets? Sadly, they have. They have. Sadly, they have. They have grown in the numbers and in the accuracy and in the range. So the IDF and Israel has a, a very hard job, a very challenging job in preventing war. First of all, we don't mm -hmm. want war. Okay? Mm -hmm. No one wants war in Israel. Uh, so we have to deter our enemies. So we're working 
on a day-to-day -day basis to keep the accuracy and the, the, the range of the missiles. Uh, and we're, we're not going to let, Israel has stated very clearly that it's not going to let mm. its enemies grow stronger uh, indefinitely. It's going to stop what needs to be stopped. Does that Iron Dome help you? Of course. It, it, is that Strategic good? capability. It does. Strategic it, capability. It gives you strength. It gives you good defense. It gives you strategic uh, capability to absorb, think, and then if you need to attack when you are ready. You don't mm -hmm. need to, even if you have something accurate, it is stopped before it hurts innocent civilians. So I it's know a very this good thing. is out of your, your wheelhouse, so to speak, but can the United States uh, use a cyber attack against North Korea and to shut them down, do you think? It's very hard to shut down someone. It's it a very, very big effort you have to, you have to make. The thing is that your, the other side has to be very cyber if you want to hit him with cyber. Yeah, okay. That's the fact with cyber stuff. North Korea is very good with cyber, but they're way back in the country. The country is because of the leadership yeah, it's of its, very, very what it does to its citizens. The, citizens. the citizens, the normal citizen, doesn't see anything digital. Mm -hmm. The digital landscape of North Korea, my assumption is, is not very developed. Mm -hmm. So they can hurt who they want to hurt, but it's very hard to hurt back in cyberspace, in digital space, because they're undeveloped. So there's a, it's something which is frustrating maybe, mm -hmm. because the, the cyber warfare is, a, is another strategic tool you would want to use on one hand, but against enemies that are not cyber, it's mm -hmm. hard. Well, that, uh, against Iran, there was that, uh, Stuxnet, that uh, worm that was inserted into the computer system to make them go crazy. Um, is that possible again with Iran? I mean, the, they're very close to getting nuclear weapons, and they said they're going to destroy Israel once they get them. I think Israel stated very well the, the red lines. Yeah. Uh, it's, Iran is stating clearly its intentions, and we need to do what we need to do to stop Iran, whatever it takes, whether it's kinetically or cyber. So we will do what needs to be done, I guess. I mean, that's no question. It's a campaign. <coughs> it's not, uh, you know, it's, there's, no, there's no way to stop this in one day or another. It's something you have to, it's an ongoing campaign, a struggle between them and us. We think we're right mm -hmm. and we intend to stay around and they can say what they want to say, but we will stay around. Well, you know, they've laid out a blueprint about how they want to destroy Israel. Um, uh, it, it, does that mean a preemptive strike against their nuclear uh, facilities if they get close to getting a bomb? They, they, they don't have one yet, do they? I hope they, they don't. Mm -hmm. they're, they're under the nuclear threshold, yeah. okay? Just probably right before it. So that means that with an effort, they can cross that line. Uh, I'm not sure the, 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 the treaty uh, that was signed with them will prevent them from doing that. What I'm sure is that we will be looking yeah. and testing and saying what needs to be said wherever it needs to be said. And well, Israel, I don't want to, don't give me any military secrets, but Israel knows what Iran is doing. Am I correct in that? I hope so. I hope <laughs> oh, we do. I know you hope so, but <laughs> true or no or false? I, I know what we know. I don't know what we don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, look, let's go back to the cyber range that uh, uh, Region bought. What capabilities does that thing have? The capabilities are quite, quite interesting. It, it really puts, you know, teams of uh, IT guys, okay, uh -huh. students that are studying how to protect systems, not only computer system, information systems, but also uh, critical infrastructure computer systems, SCADA, yeah. what, what yeah. you call in the industry. And it actually lets you walk through uh, in different scenarios. And they give you... Uh, uh, real uh, life experiences. And the, the very important thing is you can debrief later on and see exactly who did what and what part of the drill.
-hmm. So speaking about the learning cycle that yeah. has to be very fast, you have to learn from what you do. It's not enough to say, hey, everybody did well, wait, 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 okay. Yeah. No, uh, you have to be very accurate because it's a very scientific and accurate point to point mm -hmm. uh, realm. You have, it's, it's about bits and yeah. bytes but, yeah. and ones and zeros. So you have to be very accurate in what, in what you teach because if you're wrong, it's gonna go around you. Okay. So it's, it's a very accurate business. Uh, so I think it really brings, it will bring the students to a higher level of understanding and they will have battlefield friction experience. Mm -hmm. And the, the challenge the range will have is to grow better and better and you know, work with other ranges, uh -huh. uh, blue and red teams, and carry on uh, ongoing campaigns because what you really need to do these days, it's not enough to defend yourself from uh, uh, ransomware and stuff mm -hmm. that has no address. Those, uh -huh. are th those are things that have no address. They just, you know, they're sent and they hope to catch something in the net. Okay. The problem is when someone wants to hit you, uh -huh. you have to defend yourself and he's looking at you if he doesn't come through the door, he will come through the window. And if he doesn't come through the window, he'll come through the chimney. So it's, uh, you have to be very persistent in your defense. So that is a challenge that can be only met if you practice and practice mm -hmm. and learn and learn. I think it's gonna get the students to be much better it than what they are. sounds that way. Is Regent doing what it should do, yeah, what I you've seen so far? I think it's doing great, mm -hmm. and I think it's gonna uh, be really pioneering in many other issues around this, and it's, I think it's just the seed, you know, you're gonna see things grow from that, the appetite yeah. for the students, for industry, that will see what it does, the impact mm -hmm. it has. I think it will be fantastic. Well, listen, I appreciate you being with us, Brigadier General Ron Rosen. Uh, did you say you're retired? Are you retired now? Yes. When did you retire? Two days ago. <laughs> okay. well, well, ha happy beginning of the rest of your life. So, thank you so much. Thank you for thank being you. here. Ron Rosen, Brigadier General, IDF.